Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, just imagine breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you breathe out, just allow your eyelids to close. And with your eyes closed, notice that you can breathe even deeper than before. And as you exhale, just elongate that outward breath, enabling you to feel comfortable, relaxed, and at ease. As you breathe in and breathe out, pay attention to the location of any feelings of stress, any feelings of tension. For some people, it's around their forehead and eyebrows. For others, it's around their jaw. So I want you to imagine you're breathing in such a resourceful feeling of relaxation that it's melting away that tension. Feel that tension being released. That's it, melting away. And almost imagine that on your outward breath, that tension is now leaving your body. And as it leaves your body, I want you to get a sense then. Almost like an emotional transfusion, good things are coming in, and those undesirable things are leaving. So you're feeling more and more calmer, relaxed, more tranquil. As more of that stress, tension and anxiety leaves your body, the deeper breaths mean you feel deeper relaxed, which leads to a deeper trance, going deeper in your subconscious mind. And what if your imagination was a portal to influence your subconscious mind. You already know that's true. Some of your best ideas came to you as a thought and you didn't know where that thought came from because your subconscious mind was working behind the scenes trying to solve the problem. And when it had it, it just gave it to you. But rather than your subconscious mind just influencing your conscious mind, what if right now we went deeper down to make changes? Changes to those things that you normally don't control. You don't normally control your breathing, but you can do. You don't normally control your heartbeat. But if suddenly you sprinted, your heart rate would go up. You don't normally control your breathing rate. But right now you can take a deeper breath in and a deeper breath out, enabling you to start interacting with those subconscious responses. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to use your imagination to imagine a beautiful beach house. But I want you to imagine a beach house from a very long time ago. A time perhaps when there was a good memory. And I want you to imagine going all the way back in time and observing yourself back then, maybe on the beach or maybe looking at the scenery, the nature. I want you to observe that younger version of you. Maybe there on that beach or there in that countryside. At a time when you were at your most relaxed. I want you to get a sense that back then you were focused on different things. A lot of things are just invisible in the background. Sometimes weeks go by and you don't even think about 
one of your toes. It might be months since there was a different body part like an earlobe that you paid any attention to. And there might be other body parts that you pay a disproportionate of attention to. But maybe back then, as you see yourself there on that beach or in nature, that you gave a particular body part all the attention that it needed and that was enough. And I want you to imagine stepping into that younger version of you, paying attention to how you breathe, what your inner dialogue is, and what you focus on. And I want you to notice that your focus perhaps is outwards on the real things, the things in nature, the sea, the sun, the sky, or maybe inward things, sensations and thoughts. And I want you to pay attention to the sensations in your mouth. Really feel that you're there back then, all that time ago, and feel what it feels like to feel that your mouth is healthy, to feel that your mouth is relaxed, your jaw is relaxed. I want you to notice really get that sensation that your mouth is cool and comfortable that you only ever pay attention to something in your mouth as something changes when things stay the same you don't even notice and you know that's true because there was a time when you were a child and you had a wobbly tooth and you kept checking that wobbly tooth again and again Maybe you ate something very spicy for the first time and you kept noticing that sensation on your tongue. You notice change. When something stays the same for a long time, your body just accepts that this is how it is and there's no need to then notice that thing. In so many areas of your life, The way that you control your pain is not to control the pain, but to control your focus. You've had times when you had a headache, but you really focused on the work that needed to be done. And even if the headache was there, you didn't really notice. What if the power to reduce and control your pain is proportionate to your attention and your focus. And I want you to focus on how your mouth feels moist and refreshed. Not too much saliva, but not dry either, just enough that your mouth needs. I want you to imagine somehow breathing in that fresh air in nature is healing healing your body and healing your mouth and healing your health at every single point in the timeline of your life the past, the present and the future feel the positive sensations of comfort and relief spreading through your mouth what you'd imagine there by the beach is a glass of what looks like the most refreshing coolest water Maybe you can see the condensation dripping down the side of the glass, but it looks so refreshing. I want you to imagine this isn't ordinary water. This is healing water. This is infused with micronutrients, powerful properties that heal your mouth rapidly. Imagine just taking a sip of that 
healing water. And just imagine that this exists in the fourth dimension where time doesn't exist. So by drinking this healing water, it heals your mouth at any point in time whenever it has experienced pain, real or imagined. You can release any tension or stress that may be contributing to your symptoms. Not the symptoms right now, but the symptoms you may have in the future. So if there's stress in your jaw, just release that stress. If there's thoughts of feeling like it's not going to be a good day, just release those thoughts. I want you to dial down any attention on stress and increase the attention on gratitude. And there's so much to be grateful for. Here you are in this beach house looking out perhaps at the ocean or the countryside. Nature and the sun and the sky. And I want you to get a sense that everything is returning back to normal. Pain is only ever meant to be temporary. There's been times that you've stubbed your toe on a door pain was there and then the pain went away there have been times where you've burnt your fingers on a cart that was too hot the pain was there and then the pain disappeared and I want you to accept the suggestion that all pain is temporary because that's its function to give time to heal or to give you something to notice to enable you to fix. And I want you to accept the suggestion that if if healing is not required and more attention doesn't help, then the pain has served its purpose. So allow any pain in your body that has already served its purpose to be released and feel like it's letting go. As you trust in your body's ability to heal and recover, but not to overheal or underheal, pain is part of a healing process. There are people that exist with a rare genetic mutation where they feel no pain. And some people think, what an amazing, wonderful genetic gift this would be, but it isn't. Those people that feel no pain end up losing body parts without realizing, end up with cuts and ulcers. They have more scars than the average person because pain is there to protect. I want you to be grateful for your pain, but empower your pain to serve you. So if pain needs time to heal and the healing is done then that pain is not longer necessary if pain is a nudge to seek expert help and attention and you've seeked that expert help and attention then the pain has served its purpose and the pain can be let go you focus on positive thoughts and feelings Sometimes a physical sensation can be linked to an emotional thought or feeling. And if that's the case, that this pain in your mouth has been linked to a trapped emotion, a suppressed memory, just release that memory, release that emotion. And as you do so, feel like The pain is no longer necessary. Sometimes you get what you notice. And maybe you've been noticing when an undesirable sensation has been there. But I want now you to notice improvement. Even the tiniest improvement you will notice. And sometimes... The best thing to notice is that you're not even noticing. 
been times in your life that you had maybe a toothache maybe a body part like an ankle or a knee was aching and the true sign of progress is that you stopped paying attention to that area so I want you to accept that the more times you realize that you're not focusing on your mouth and focusing on other things instead the more that feels like progress and the more you will desire to focus on those other things you are grateful for the healing process taking place in your body and I want you to imagine imagine this healing water that you're drinking is creating a healing protective barrier that is a microscopic almost using nanotechnology almost an invisible barrier that protects the roof of your mouth and around your tongue all parts of your mouth you can feel positive sensations and tastes but any feelings of prickly sensations are no longer noticeable because they are hidden under that protective shield that protective barrier enabling whatever healing needs to take place to take place and allowing your attention to be focused elsewhere And I want you to imagine here in this beach house, you can hear the sound of people laughing and joking. I want you to imagine you have this healthy, cool, calm mouth. And I want you to imagine you're at the beach house and now at your current age, but you still feel this healthy mouth, feeling refreshed just the right amount of saliva and I want you to imagine there is a delicious chocolate cake there and I want you to imagine eating this chocolate cake slowly as someone that has no issues with their mouth whatsoever your focus is on the taste the texture and once you've imagined eating that delicious chocolate cake with no issues at all in your mouth just let me know by nodding your head I want you to get a sense that your brain wants you to heal but perhaps you're already healed what if some of these sensations have just been an echo of the past and are not even real to communicate to the part responsible for this burning sensation in your mouth and when I'm communicating with that part let me know by nodding your head I believe that you have a positive intention I think you're the same part that when there was a genuine burn in the past you jumped into action and attempted to heal you and I know there is no more healing to be done which leads me to believe there might be a different motive a different intention I think that's a positive intention and I don't need to know that intention now but at some point in the next few days or weeks I want you to share what that positive intention is I think it's to protect or to help in some way I just don't know what so at the point where you're ready I want you to share that through a moment of intuition an epiphany an insight to share that because once we can deal with that positive intention in a different way these tiring unpleasant sensations are no longer necessary they're no longer necessary now but I would rather help whatever needs to be helped in the way that it can be helped rather than this thing which isn't really helping as much as something else could and if when the time is right you're happy to share that positive intention let me know by nodding your head I 
want you to accept the suggestion that there are many ways to help achieve an intention in many different ways. In the same way that there are many different ways of celebrating a birthday or traveling to a city. So if you accept that whatever this positive intention is, there are many other ways that could also help with this positive intention. Let me know by nodding your head. That's it. So let's just plant that seed that when the time is right, you're happy to share that positive intention. And that as that positive intention is met, then the need for this burning sensation will disappear. And it could already disappear. Because if it's not there to heal, or not there to attract attention that can actually help, then the pain has no purpose and can wash away. And I want you to imagine walking back out to the beach. And I want you to imagine writing two words in the sand. Just with your finger in the sand, feel the sensation on your finger in that wet sand. Write the word pain and write the word burning. And then I want you to imagine seeing the waves go over those. And maybe it takes two, three or even four waves, but very soon those words disappear. Just as very soon these sensations will disappear from your mouth. When your unconscious is ready to make useful changes and to return to the present, let me know by nodding your head. So feel like you're returning to the present, no longer in a beach house, far away from the chocolate cake, returning to your current age, time, location, but with a sense that something is changing or something has already changed and you welcome those changes. And you welcome doing whatever is necessary and required to meet whatever need you have, consciously or unconsciously. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that all parts of you returning to the present as I count from one to ten to awaken you, starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six. Or alert. Seven, eight. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten. Wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake.